Welcome to High Ground, my name is Tanner, and today we are going to be talking about the event guide for Rainbow Six Siege's Berlin Major. The upcoming Major starts up in just four days, so not much time. Let's get down to it. A ton of stuff to cover in this, so I'm going to try to go quickly. Let's see how well that'll work out. Dates and locations, so the 15th through the 21st of August, the 15th, 16th, and 17th, those days are the, the group stage, not open to the public. Playoffs, 19th, 20th, and I guess even 21st, the grand final on the 21st. I'm imagining the, the semifinals on the 20th and the quarterfinals on the 19th. Eight, eight teams advance from the group stage to playoffs. So uh, keep all this in mind. Venue, address, whatever, whatever. Uh, probably if this is important information to you, you already are aware of it. You can redeem. Uh, you can get a charm, weapon skin. Participating team. So from APEC, we have Damwon Gaming, Kia, Sandbox Gaming, Elevate, and Gaming Gladiators. I think this is a typo. It should be G-A. I M I N, but uh, whatever. From Europe, we have Wolves Esports, Rogue, Eminem Gaming, and G2 Esports. From Latin America, we have Ninjas in Pajamas, FaZe Clan, Furia, and W7M Esports. They're actually all from Brazil, but I suppose, uh, you know, non Brazilian teams can qualify, they just never do. And then from North America, we have Astralis, Sonics, Auction, and Xset. And okay, so here are the groups. This information was already known. I guess I haven't really talked about it comprehensively, and I don't really intend to do so now. I'll just do a quick uh, quick overview. Group A, I see is very volatile. I could see any of the, any combination of these teams going through. And again, so two teams from every group will make it out of their group into the playoffs. Uh, Damwon has been pretty consistently good, but they haven't reached the highs that have been expected of them. Uh, and maybe the, the expectations were a bit lofty quarterfinals in mexico semifinals in sweden decent performance at si even though a lot of people thought they would be going all the way to the grand final and uh, they did fall a bit short at the recent gamers 8 tournament but maybe that won't be indicative of their performance here rogue and ninjas in pajamas both of these orgs and uh, the teams are largely the same i guess they both made roster changes recently ninjas in pajamas picking a wizard rogue picking up spoit and so maybe that will improve their consistency that remains to be seen but they are teams that will go in back-to-back -back stages from first place to last place. They've been on the top, at the bottom. Sometimes they just flounder at events. Sometimes they do pretty well. Uh, Ninja the Pajamas, of course, the 2021 SI Champions, 2020 runner-up the year before. Rogue recently got to the the semifinals at Sweden, and they had a, a decent showing, I guess, at SI. Not, not amazing, but... Uh, just missing out on Charlotte for both of these teams. I guess, nin well, just missing out for Rogue. Uh, not very close for Ninja Pajamas. And then, uh, you know, a pretty big resurgence coming in as the in the, as the second and third seed for their respective regions. And then Xset. I wouldn't call them a very volatile team. They've been consistently good, but just for a very short amount of time that they've been a team. They've been fourth seed for NA at both events, this one and Charlotte. And they did make it out of their group in Charlotte, so... Uh, maybe maybe their ceiling isn't as high as these other teams, but I think that is just for a lack of understanding of the team in, in its entirety. So uh, th this probably is the event that will fully solidify how good they are. Hopefully they can make it out of groups. I do think they're a very fun team to watch, and this group could be producing some of the most exciting games. Uh, group B, FaZe, Sonic, Sandbox, and G2. Uh, it feels like FaZe and Sonic should be making it out. Maybe not easily, but uh, it feels like they should be the two advancing. Uh, the APAC teams, for the most part, just there's not too much reason to put faith in them, except for maybe maybe Damon, maybe Elevate, but uh, Gaming Gladiators and Sandbox, I think they they definitely need to prove themselves uh, to be respected in a top tier global sense okay g2 did sneak out of their group at the at the charlotte major beating out heroic and w7m in very surprising fashion maybe they'll do it again but uh, once again they do feel like underdogs here sonics this is super's last event so they would love to make a deep run and, and at least they'd love to outperform g2 i suppose and uh, so we'll see how they do phase clan one of the teams to win a major last year and they look to potentially be on track to do it again perhaps one of the favorites for the event group c i think at this point looks like the scariest group initially i thought a or b but i think i overlooked group c a little bit wolves top seed from eu w7m the number one team from the regular season of latam they just lost at, in the grand final of copa elite six to get second seed and then oxygen by a pretty narrow margin ended up as the third seed when they probably should have been first seed they just let things slip a little bit at the end of the at the end of the stage so uh, potentially the scariest team from eu and latam and na in the same group this is going to be uh, perhaps 
the group that produces the highest quality of games overall. Hopefully, Gaming Gladiators can keep up with them. It seems pretty unlikely, and uh, it should be just an absolute bloodbath from among uh, Wolves, W7M, and Oxygen. Finally, Group D. It looks like the weakest group, and it looks like Astralis should be a shoe-in based on this, but not necessarily. Of all the teams at the event, probably Astralis has the biggest target on their back. They are the top seed from the supposed top region. Certainly, NA was the top region at Charlotte. It's unclear if that will be true coming into this event or after this event or however you want to call it. Uh, they were the, the top performing team from Charlotte that's also at this event, so they got second place there. The only team to place above them, Dark Zero is not at this event so very big target on their back but it's unclear if elevate eminem inferior will be able to capitalize on this eminem we haven't seen too too much from them internationally just yet they've been so so in their appearance at si and i think that's all we've seen from them and then elevate uh, unfortunately missed out on the charlotte major because of visa issue so we'd have a much clearer picture of them if they'd gone to that but uh, we don't so we'll have to see what happens and then furia they go to pretty much every event they they're on quite a streak if i remember right and they've made a few roster changes fairly recently didn't really pay off at the charlotte major maybe they'll pay off here but based on their track record i don't expect a ton from them maybe this will be their event we'll have to see and okay moving on we have the schedule so here is the a stream take a quick glance uh, 10 30 a.m central european time to 8 40 p.m central european European time are when any given game will start and uh, we also have a B stream to look at playoffs only on the A stream and for some reason they don't tell us the times playoff games will be ahead of time maybe they don't know but that seems weird to me I mean certainly they don't know what teams will be playing in the playoffs but uh, I, I would think that they would be able to give us times whatever okay moving on to the B stream only group stage games here no playoffs that's again on the A stream and uh, take a quick look maybe pick out your favorites write down the times if you're so inclined to do so the games won't necessarily start at these times there are usually delays probably it'll run later than 8 40 p.m central european time plus however long that game goes probably they'll be starting later than that we'll have to see maybe they'll be on a good schedule but uh, that is very rarely the case okay so uh let me know in the comments uh, any given matchup you think will be extremely exciting also let me know which teams you think will be making it out of all the groups i'll probably do a more comprehensive breakdown of my thoughts of the group at some point but for now we're keeping it brief year seven season three reveal this on the 21st same day as the grand final so i imagine it's right before the grand final should be exciting hopefully it's a good one activities at the event uh you know you can get merchandise you can check out whatever stuff this is probably for a pretty small portion of the people watching this video you're probably already aware of most of this stuff uh you can buy yeah some merch there's a demo booth protect pro demo booth professional teams meet and greet uh, i would have liked to have done this when i was in charlotte for the major but the lines were sort of just ungodly long that i i didn't get around to it cosplay you know i mean I'm, you're probably aware of the rules if you are cosplaying but do check them out if you are not aware of them and you are cosplaying where to watch so uh we have english portuguese german spanish french and italian streams as well as uh, polish hungarian mandarin and japanese and these will only be for the playoffs and then also korean but these will only be streaming the matches in which korean teams are involved okay broadcast talent so uh, pretty standard stuff i'd say here the one surprise is the lack of blue and stokes a lot of people were really uh, they were sort of upset that Blue didn't make it here because they think he's quite a good caster, and, and I'm inclined to agree. So we have Milosh, presumably the desk host, Ian, the stage host. Uh, I mean, probably the premier people to have in either of those positions. And then as far as casting duos, we have Intero and Pengu, Ace and Dez, Fluke and Hap, and then Dev and Mandy. So people have been wanting to see these two for quite some time. Maybe the logistics were just kind of difficult getting them all the way to Charlotte. We had Blue and Stokes there instead. And well, now we have these two here instead. I'm excited to, to hear them cast an international event. And then other than that, I mean, you know, sort of the, the two the two duos from EU and then uh, Intero in, and Pengu from NA. And then so we have Jesse, Jacob, and and fresh as analysts so at charlotte it was just jesse and fresh so they are bringing in a third analyst in in jacob and it's not totally clear i don't know if they're going to have like all three of them on the whole time or if they're going to like switch around just have two on whatever they're going to do but three analysts there and then three observers easy medics and red like okay moving on here we have the names watch party so this is on a different tab let me pull that up and okay so we have English, Polish, Arabic, German, I'm assuming this is supposed to say Mandarin, Japanese, Thai, Korean, Portuguese, Spanish, French, and Italian. And then I'll just read off the English ones. We have Ammunition, Canadian, King George, Macy J, Demo, Fresh, Milosh, Chate, Tom J, Sherlock, and Zyronix. So a lot of the really big names in terms of streamers for Siege. 
and of course any big streamers at the event that are playing or whatever aren't aren't, aren't going to be co-streaming and uh fresh and milosh are both working the event so i don't know if they're going to just be watch partying like for the group stage or, or what the deal is exactly there uh yeah i guess maybe they won't have the desk for the group stage just for the the playoffs so I, I don't know we'll have to see there i'm surprised the list isn't even longer but uh okay this is what we have and then here is where you can watch them all and i think this is just the same information yeah so we can go back over now and right so competitive format so group stages again 15th through the 17th a win is worth three points overtime win worth two points overtime loss worth one point and a regular loss zero points once again there are the four groups with four teams group a b c d Double round robin best of one. So every team will play every other team in their group two times, you know, both in best of ones. And then whoever the, the two teams to accumulate the most points by, via this metric here, they will advance. And then, I mean, there's some tie breaks and whatever, but that's maybe a little nitpicky. We'll, we'll get to that if we get to that. And we did get to it, I guess, at the, the Mexico major, which was kind of crazy, but unlikely for it to happen again. 19th, 20th, 21st, the playoffs, including the grand final. Yeah, eight teams, single elimination bracket, quarterfinals, semifinals, and then the, the grand final. And the grand final, the only one that is a best of five, no map advantage or anything. And so, uh, you know. That is the, the end of the road there. Global standings points. These are going to be awarded, and they help team qualify for for the six Invitational, 375, 300, so on and so forth. Uh, maybe I'll talk about this more in the future. After this event, things will be put into a good amount of perspective because we'll already have seen two of the majors, two of the stages, just one more major, one more stage to play. So things... Uh, could be sort of figured out after after this event and then okay i think the rest of this is just just random stuff uh operator bundle for for jackal here protein bundles and weapons and you can get 20 percent off this stuff twitch drops you can get ooh, no duplicates very cool uh what is the rate at which you get them so there's some amaru stuff few stuff ying stuff mozzie maestro time watched okay for the group stage of the six berlin major from august 15th to 17th and for the first two days of the playoffs from august 19th to 20th okay so for all of the days except for the last day you will view, viewers will earn one pack after three hours of watch time maximum of one one per day that's so sad and then uh on the grand final day one pack after one hour and one pack after three hours so you can get two on the final day i don't know why they don't give out more packs but okay well it is what it is mm, here are the details and i'm not going to read this you can check it out if you're a big pack kind of person and health and safety guidelines also check this out i guess if you're going to be at this event and this shouldn't matter to you really if you're not at the event blah 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 privacy and image rights also for people attending stay in touch okay yeah that does it for the event guys so once again uh, the thing i'm most curious to hear at this point who do you think which teams do you think are going to advance out of their groups and which matchups are you particularly looking forward to? I think a ton of people want to see that uh, G2 versus Sonics, and I guess we'll get to see it two times in two best of ones. I think the Wolves, W7M, and Oxygen game should all be good, uh, and I think a lot of the Group A games also should be quite good. So, yeah, that's sort of what I'm looking forward to, and we don't have much time we need to wait, just four days till the event starts up. And all right, so like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video.